Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a one week grocery haul from HEB, along with our meal plan for the week. And at the end, I also have a Walmart clothing haul that we got for the boys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's get to the haul. Today's video is also in collaboration with my good friend Kayla. Her channel is The Unmodern Millennial. Kayla's channel is full of budget-friendly food content, including grocery hauls, delicious recipes, and what's for dinner videos. I'm gonna have her channel linked down below, so make sure you go check out her video as well and let her know I sent you. So here's everything we got for the week, including five dinners, and some stuff for breakfast, lunches, and snacks. Starting off with the cold stuff, we picked up a five pound chicken we'll be using for two recipes. We got a one pound bag of frozen broccoli. We have some frozen cheese tortellini, this is for some sausage and tortellini soup. I got a big bag of chicken nuggets just for an easy lunch option. These are really good when you make them in the air fryer. We have some Parmesan cheese for the tortellini soup. Some hot dogs for another lunch option for the boys. A one pound tub of sour cream. And some H-E-B brand Velveeta cheese. So that's all of the cold stuff. I'll get this put away and we'll get to the rest. Here's our fresh produce. We got this one pound package of grapes. I love that HEB sells them like this. No more weighing and trying to guess if I'm spending $5 on grapes or not because I always buy more than I thought I did. I got some sweet tomatoes for tacos along with some avocados and some green leaf lettuce. And for snacks, for the boys, we grabbed some bananas and some apples. And for our pantry items, Tiffany over at Large Family Love made some cream of wheat recently. And I was like, ooh, I haven't had that in years. So I had to get some for the boys. And for some reason, they don't sell the individual packets anymore. So I just got a box. And Adam's favorite when he was a kid was chocolate malto meal, so we got some of that too. We got some H-E-B brand Cheez-Its. Garrett has been loving this cereal lately, and it was still on sale, so we got some more. We needed some regular sugar some brown sugar, and some flour. We grabbed some pasta for macaroni and cheese. I love these because they're three for a dollar. We'll probably use one for some macaroni for dinner and the other two I'll have on hand just for lunches. So I had to grab these pretzels that I finally found that I've seen my friends Kat and Taylor getting a lot, so I had to try them. And they are so delicious, but HEB had the wrong price tag on the shelf and if I had known these were $6, I probably wouldn't have bought them. But if you don't mind spending $6 on pretzels, they're amazing. The boys picked out some lime chips. These are so addictive. They also got these mini sodas that were four for a dollar. They each had one in the car on the way home. Something about wearing those masks in the store for an hour makes you super thirsty. We grabbed some jalapenos for tacos and pizza, some nacho cheese for pretzel dogs and fries, some tomato sauce to make some marinara, and evaporated milk for tortellini soup. 
we got some yeast that we use for making pizza dough. And the boys have been loving crunchy peanut butter, so we grabbed some more for lunches. We got this chipotle marinade to make a rotisserie chicken. And some ketchup because we're always running out. For drinks, the boys picked out these sour Kool-Aid drinks. They only get one of these occasionally. I tried one. I thought they were disgusting, but they love them. Then we got two different juices and a case of water. Our total at HEB today was $68.68. And here is our meal plan for the week. We're making a rotisserie chicken with some mashed potatoes and corn. And with the leftover chicken, we're gonna make some chicken tacos with rice and beans. We have pretzel dogs and french fries. We'll probably do those on the weekend for movie night or something. Then we have barbecue wings with some broccoli mac and cheese and some sausage and tortellini soup with some frozen Rhodes dinner rolls. I also wanted to share with you guys the clothes we picked up for the boys at Walmart. Most of this is for Garrett just because he's outgrown everything and Tucker gets all of his hand-me-downs. We got each of them a thermal shirt. Garrett picked out green and Tucker got the blue. We got Garrett a few short sleeve shirts. I love this Mario Kart one, it's so cute. Walmart's really stepping up their game when it comes to kids clothes. And he picked out this Minecraft one, shocker, right? But I like that it's simple and he looks really good in gray. We also got him a few pairs of pants. These Wonder Nation jeans are a great price at just $10 and they fit him really well. And then we got these joggers that were only $6 and they're so cute. We also got him a few long sleeve shirts this one is a cute arcade style, and it says Winter Games. And this one just says, I'm here to level up. This one is Tucker's. We would have gotten Garrett one too, but they didn't have a size. This one just says game over on the front, but when you turn it around, it looks like an old Space Invaders video game. Tucker still has a lot of fuzzy PJs that used to be Garrett's, but Garrett was down to just one, so we grabbed him another one. They love wearing these when it starts to get cold, and I just think they look adorable in them. We also wanted to get them some long sleeve ones that didn't zip up, so Tucker picked out some Scooby PJs. And Garrett got the Mario ones, and the pants are so fuzzy and soft.
And then I saw these and I couldn't resist Minecraft bathrobes. These are going to be great when it's cold, after they take a bath, or in the morning while they're eating breakfast, and they are so stinking cute. They also needed some new socks. These boys' feet are growing so fast it's unreal. Soon Garrett's feet will be bigger than mine. And because of that reason, we also got them some new rubber boots for the winter. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Also make sure to head over to Kayla's channel and check out her video. I'll have her link down below.